Hello, hello, so Signash fan back, and this time we have the Vlov Beginner's Guide. Vlov is one of the most powerful characters in this game by far top three on every tier list that i've seen minus jp because they don't think love is as strong however maybe that could change after um we just had evo and they got a chance to fight our top laws being safe in masoma uh, so maybe their opinions might change uh this character is very unique in the sense that this character starts in a different form so when the match starts this character is in fire form aka flame and uh by the opponent winning a round this character turns into ice form so once this character turns into ice form ice form is his best form by far bigger hitboxes on everything and it's just very hard to maneuver the playing field when uh this character is shooting ice at you uh fire form is a lot more fair but it's still it's still really good it's still really good for you know space control however the ice is just better hence why when vlog loses the vlog turns into ice mode now uh this character is all about space control very very simple and straightforward character but i definitely think this character is around the intermediate level when it comes down to learning how to play the character effectively because you need to have really good angles on everything you do you, you have to have very good reads on what you do there's a lot of situations where you if you miss you have to moon drive so like let's say um work just jumps at me and i opt to do this right i'm gonna get hit right i'm gonna get punished however let's say i do that you know uh like something like that right uh i have to do this right here i have to burn that I have to, right? I have to put her in a situation because I'm gonna be unsafe if I don't, uh, if I don't moon drive. So Vlov is a very heavy resource character because if I don't have moon drive right there, uh, I'm in trouble. However, I would have to make a hard read to uh, knock her out the sky. Like that. That'd be a like huge read shooting a up fireball at her uh because i'm guessing that she's gonna jump now the thing about vlog you definitely have to have very calculated uh reads on where your opponent will be on the screen because vlog's movement in the air is not like the best uh but has very good normals in the air jb uh very good horizontal normal jc very good angled normal so if you're jumping in at somebody jc would be uh the best option but if you feel like you know she might jump you could do jb and then from there you might get a, a counter hit like that just like that uh so jb is gonna be your kind of like jump back normal or your neutral jump normal in general to stop like aerial approaches like if you feel like somebody's going to the air uh ja is good but ja is a, like a lot cleaner uh near somebody because it's uh a lot faster uh this character has uh the 2-2 two -two series which is probably what people dislike the most uh, about fighting this character is the 2-2 two -two series right so let me take her off a of mash uh so the 2-2 two -two series if you don't know i'm gonna make her stand up right if you don't know the follow-up is actually a low but 2-2-B is a low from the start of it. It's an actual low. 2-2-A, uh, two though, it's only the uh, the ender that's the low. Now, 2-2-C two -two is a low. So, by default, you should always block low. When you see that, you should block low or shield low. Because um, you're not going to be able to see that, hey, that's the 2-2-A two -two version. And, hey, like, the second hit is a low. Like, you just want to kind of default to uh, blocking low. So, here's the mind game with law. If your opponent is on the ground, you should be stomping or shooting projectiles. If your opponent is in the air, you shouldn't be stomping. You should be throwing air projectiles because you can actually set up an unblockable. Is And it's probably the unblockable that most saw in uh, EVO Grand Finals where Vlov will force you to block. If you block in the air, let's see if I can set this up. 
like that basically so that is unblockable that setup is unblockable and that's what you will see a lot from vlog uh setting up the unblockable and that's a huge part if you are uh attempting to pick up this character uh knowing where your opponent will be on the screen predicting and uh going from there uh by predicting your opponent's movement patterns you're able to um to shut down the screen and by shutting down the screen you'll be you'll be able to make the opponent make really really poor decisions making poor decision is poor decisions is mostly why people lose two blob in the first place because they might have jumped and they got hit by unblockable they might get their ankles clipped by like a 2-2-a 2-2-b something like that uh but it's hard to move in general so your opponent will default to shielding to try to get around the um the zoning right so I'm going to make her, I just want her to low shield, right? So if somebody's sitting here low shielding, I'm doing this. All I'm doing is giving the moon meter. I'm giving the moon meter. Uh, and that is not necessarily good. However, that's gonna, what they're going to default to because you are shooting projectiles at them. So as the Vlog player, you have to understand that sometimes you are go going to have to either A keep shooting projectiles or b move in to uh, punish them for low shielding and you can like cleanly jump in at them if they are low shielding and start you up a route you can start up a, uh, an easy route just from jb like if you want to jb them like that All the way to the corner and every time you get an air throw with this character you do get a safe jump route so your opponent is not going to be able to uppercut or anything the only thing they can do is block or stand shield your jumping attack so um the next step would be your opponent is going to default to shield b as an option so we're gonna make her shield b so i'm gonna do this guard so this is a very common option that people pick against vlog it's probably one of the worst because vlog can do this let's see i was too close one thing to note if you are too close it's easier to punish this you actually cannot block however if you are back here it's a lot safer i'm trying to 3c It's actually pretty hard to 3C that. So Vlog can 3C maybe. Okay, there we go. So Vlog can actually 3C off of the projectile, but not the 2-2 series. If you shoot a projectile, Vlog will recover in enough time to actually be able to 3, uh, 3C. But if you shoot a 2-2A, your best option would be to, uh, you can delay BC or you can moon drive. If I can get my moon drive out, let's see. Maybe it's the recovery that you can't moon drive. Okay. It's the recovery. Okay, so it is the recovery. So off of the 2-2 series, uh, you are not going to be able to act beyond like doing BC late. You can shield. That's going to be probably your best options off of uh, the 2-2 series. Because the reason why he can't do any options is because he's still in recovery frames. So you're not unsafe per se. But you're not going to be able to do something like a moon drive or anything like that. Maybe if I'm at max distance. But BC, delay BC is uh, definitely like still a really, really good answer honestly. When I think about it. Oh, there we go. So, 2-2-A, two, two, you're not able to. So, 2-2-A, two, two, you're not able to, but 2-2-B, two, two, you are because 2-2-B two, two, recovers faster. So, 
if you are using your zoning properly you would probably want to use 22b if you feel like they're going to shield b you uh 22a is just faster so it's easier to catch like jump starter frames but if you really do feel like that they're going to um shield b you could just do 22b because you can actually probably three see them off of 22b yeah you actually can so the 2-2 series is not the easiest to use, but it's something that you have to use because it will stop the ground approach. And that is one of the major key things and the strength of Love is stopping the ground approach forces the opponent to go into the air. And once you force the opponent into the air, you can actually just shoot projectiles at them and potentially set up unblockables or potentially a set of just combo damage now as you see the ice is definitely a bigger hitbox so ice blob is definitely literally a different boss character this this character turns into a boss character once um once he loses a round he turns into a boss character and he stays in ice form the whole the whole set after that so you want to make sure that you know how to fight ice law because it definitely changes a couple of things the approach because of every like the hitboxes are bigger so like if i jump right here as warc i'm gonna get unblockable very easily just like that so it's very easy for blob to set up unblockables in the ice form versus the fire form because the fire forms hitbox isn't as big as the ice form so setting up the unblockable is one of the most important um key tools of blob so you need to keep your moon drive at all times with blob because like i showed before if you miss a projectile if you miss a different angle you want to keep yourself safe and that is a resource and since this character doesn't have a wake up you kind of want to keep all of your resources whether it be moon drive and or at least one bar so you can uh heat when your opponent is on top of you because this character's defense is lacking so as a player you have to have pretty good defense to operate this character and that's kind of what puts him in the intermediate state because having no reversal in this game can be pretty scary but him being so committal with a lot of his options is um pretty pretty dangerous honestly because if i make a wrong call i'm going to get hit by a character so if i didn't have moon drive i could potentially get punished now because the hitbox is so big that's another thing because the hitbox is actually so big you can actually hit her in that situation fire might have missed but ice won't miss and then you uh basically get a situation so when it comes down to it ice vlog is the reason why most of na puts this character around top one top two ish and fire vlog is basically just a regular character still dangerous in the right hands but ice vlog is definitely the final boss character you do not want to fight against hopefully this vlog beginner's guide will set you on the right path with vlog you just need to have really good defense really good reads and keep your resources because without those resources you might get cooked thank y'all for watching i'll see y'all next time